Hey everyone, welcome back to Urban Rush. It is time for us to talk about what is trending on the internet. Yes, and of course, lots of things to talk about, but uh, something local that happened here, not just local, but North America, around the world. It was Pants Off Transit Day on Sunday. That just sounds frightening. Yeah, this started in New York uh, about a decade ago. It was improv everywhere. Started this thing where people rode the subway in New York City. Don't people always ride the subway <laughs> without pants in New York City? There is an argument uh, that supports that theory, yes. But this was around the world. It was everywhere, including people Vancouver. People did it on the SkyTrain? People did it on the SkyTrain Why train does in that seem extra creepy? Much like Wreck Beach, often it's the people that shouldn't be doing it that are doing it. Let's have a look, shall we? What's more awkward what? than taking off your pants? Taking off your pants while people watch. Well, you don't go on with pants, like. You go on with pants and then you take them off. Wouldn't you think it through that skinny jeans with your shoes on would be difficult to maneuver? Oh my gosh, is that a guy or a girl? No, it's a guy. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you know what? Look, Sorry look about proud, that. proud, there you go, be proud. There's a little bit of shrinkage on the SkyTrain. Uh, so it was just people all day yesterday on SkyTrain taking off their pants. And actually, I think it was only during certain periods or certain times. That's and, creepy. But anyway, bonjour Maggie, that's my favorite because public transit wasn't already gross enough. She well, uh, 2012, uh, 2011 for me was the year of the cat videos. And everybody knows, especially our crew here, <laughs> yeah. that I watch a lot of cat videos on YouTube and stuff because I think they're really cute and funny. Well, uh, when our boss was teasing me about it, we decided that I would donate a dollar. Every time I show a cat video on the program, I will donate a dollar, and at the end of the year, We'll donate it all to the SPCA. This could run into... The millions. This actually, you know, there is potential. Are we counting ones that you show me in the office? No, just on can, the show. I, I should hope not, because that would get us into, like, the thousand, two thousand. Mike, I have to 2, sift 000. through them to find the funny the, ones. The number of cat okay. videos that I hear her watching every day. It's like she's got cat video Tourette's. I do. And I hope this one's meow, worth... Meow. I hope this one's worth a loony, because I think it's really funny. <laughs> You know those video cards that you open and it sings a oh, song? Oh, it sings. Oh, I get it. It's well, a cat Well, this cat card. did not like the other cats in the card singing the song. Well, this is like Inception well, Cat. Watch, 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 watch. So it's a cat that hates cat video cards. <laughs> he hates it. I'm out of here. Right? Was that funny? Still, was that worth a buck? That was worth a buck. Okay. That was worth one dollar okay. for sure. Well, uh, one thing that I would never do, even if you paid me a dollar or a million dollars, is bungee jumping because I am terribly afraid of heights. Uh, well, one woman did the bungee jump, and you know, you always think, what would happen if the rope broke? This is broke? terrible. She's fine. Yeah, she was very, very So it's actually very, not very terrible. She just broke her collarbone. She's very badly bruised. But what could be worse than your rope breaking when you bungee jump? Well, landing in a river that's infested with crocodiles would probably be it. But let's see. And keep in mind, she's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, and then oh that is a crappy old bungee. Best part is... None of the staff really moved to help. No. They just hang out. You can hear the friends. If you've watched this video, listen to the friends because they're saying, uh, what are you doing to help our friend? Because the guys are like, oh, now we lost another one. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, but it is official. Oh. I will never, ever bungee jump. Yeah, uh, I have bungee jumped, but that makes you have second thoughts because the rope didn't just, like, sort of slowly unravel. It was like, it just turned to dust. Yeah. It was like and it was just gone. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, one uh, very last one, because uh, I saw this posted today on Reddit, and I thought, this is actually very, very funny. This is a little Canadian content for you. This is Stu Jeffries in 1987. Stu Jeffries, I just had a flashback. Stu Jeffries on Switchback in 1987, trying to explain to his viewers, <laughs> what's rap? You know, one of the hottest, hottest items these days, thanks to guys like Run DMC and the Beastie Boys, is rapping. What is rapping? rapping. Let's have a look before we go any further. Because this will explain it. My name is Zach and I can really rap. So come on, baby, don't give it up. You be down on one knee before you can't see it with the baddest rap and all the history. People tap the feet right to the beat. Getting in the groove, they start to move. You know I'm the best, there is no test. The, 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 all right, that is There you go. Thank, Thank you, you, Stu Jeffries, for that great education. That's exactly what rap turned into as well, wow. which is a miracle. Little boy on the right, that was me. <laughs> you know, I always want to do where is, are they now? Oh, yeah, where like are that. those guys? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to rewatch this segment or any of the segments that we show or our antics on Twitter as well.
We're going to take a break. And when we return.